All right, Stephanie, we're ready to we're take ready. him live. And this man, ladies and gentlemen, predicted the exact outcome of the presidential election. He did it in March. Here he is, the one and only Professor Helmut Nurpath. Good morning, sir. Thank you so much for coming on. Well, good morning. Hello. Congra- Thanks for having me again. Congratulations. How did you do it? <laughs> oh, it's, uh, it's, uh, it's about things I've done uh, for 20 years. I've done it uh, uh, for, for, uh, for lectures before, so uh, I, had, I had a good feeling that it, uh, it, would, it would work out. It's really quite a, quite a simple uh, formula. It's, uh, it's, uh, it's what happens in elections over a long time when, uh, you, when a party has been in, uh, in office for, yeah. for two terms. It's very difficult to get a third term, and and uh, and then the other thing is uh, what happened in primaries. All uh, right. I mean, you saw. I mean, you predicted that Donald Trump would be president. Uh, you predicted this mm-hmm. uh, back in well, March, right? In I mean, March, was, yes, was I did. That in on. March, I yeah. predicted uh, uh, that he had an uh, eighty-seven chance uh, percent chance of, uh, of, of of winning, and uh, uh, I, I, I never changed that. I stuck to yeah, it. Yeah. Uh, there was uh, really nothing I could have done. I could have I could have uh, torn it all up and, and said, forget about it. But. Yeah. Uh, it, uh, it, it was just the way it, it played out pretty early in the uh, in the primaries that, that Donald Trump was a stronger candidate and history was on his side, and yeah, that's yeah. what happened. Was there anything out there through this whole thing? I mean, uh, you're the pollster. You're the guy. Um, was there anything out there that you feel you, you didn't quite expect you didn't get right? Well, uh, let me just say, I'm not a pollster. I, I, don't, I don't poll people. I, I take the... Uh, uh, sort of the real polls, yeah, the, uh, yeah, the elections yeah. uh, that had happened into account. I, I would say that uh, uh, technically, I I predicted that Donald Trump would win the popular vote, and he would win it by yes! such a big margin that there would be no doubt that he would be also the winner of the electoral college vote nice. and be elected president. So the, the second part sort of happened. So God. I would okay. say. Uh, I was a little lucky. You were half right, you, and you're an honest man. I say, <laughs> here, here, three cheers for honesty. Yeah, <laughs> that's what yeah, I say. Yeah, no, I, I, I was, I, I, uh, it's just, it's, it's, this is a, uh, I mean, a strange outcome that we have. Uh, such a disparity between the, uh, know, the popular vote and the electoral uh, college vote. I think that that uh, that is something to to sort of uh, chew over a little bit about yeah. how that happens and 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 uh, what it means and whether it's going to happen again. Well, listen, uh, we congratulate you uh, in huh? so many different ways. I will tell you, uh, we congratulate you, and you just make me feel and believe more in mankind today. I'm just telling you. <laughs> well, saying. thank you so much. I think it's a, it's, a, it's a tribute. I would say to science. I mean, it's not anything yeah. I, I did to uh, uh, get into the campaign. It was just sort of an application of, of the things that I, I, I work on, that I, I, I teach, et cetera. And uh, it, uh, it just shows that, that, that I, I think we, we may know something about how, how things work, that uh, we don't have to rely on people just, uh, just sure. uh, endlessly polling people right. about about what they're going to do. I, I think there, there are some real uh, drawbacks to that. No doubt about it. All right, uh, so, pr- Professor, looking ahead to 2020, what uh, percentage does Kanye West have to win the presidency? <laughs> Kanye West, who is he? <laughs> yeah, good, good answer, good answer. All right, uh, Professor, we thank you so much for, for your time, and have a wonderful Thanksgiving. Well, same to you. You have, you have one, too, and appreciate any time uh, I come on your show. I appreciate it. Thank All you. Right. Thanks so much. Uh, that is uh, Professor Helmut Norpath, and honesty prevails. I'm I am thankful for honesty this Thanksgiving. Thankful. If, yeah, we're all sitting there at the edge of our seats <laughs> waiting like, to see what, what will he say. Next. I don't want Bill to embarrass this guy. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, don't you feel good, though, Stephanie? Don't yes. you feel good? Oh, I feel so good. He That's was great. completely <laughs> honest. That was he awesome. was.